The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. In the very beginning, there was Commodore. Then came Rambo. And now, Green Beret continued the military-style gaming craze that swept the Commodore 64 fraternity. Penetrating deep behind enemy lines and blowing up several armies single-handed. Yes, it's once again just you versus the rest of the world in this game of skill and dexterity. Nice cleavage. Known also as Rush and Attack in North America, and depending on which title you use and how you interpret it, this game is about a guy who rushes in before attacking, attacks Russians and wears a rather goofy hat. One way or another, this arcade-style game arms you with a knife and sends you on a kamikaze mission against hordes of enemy fighters. Rescuing captives is the object of this arcade conversion, and the Green Beret has to delve deep behind enemy lines, through a missile base, around a harbour, over a bridge and into a prison camp to rescue his fighting buddies. Once again, another action-packed arcade port programmed by the awesome David Collier, with graphics by Steve Wahid and incredible music once more from Martin Galway. Pressing the fire button gets the stab action going, and any renegades who are careless enough to run into the swift and silent blade are instantly stabbed to death. However, if you allow yourself to be hit by a single bullet, or even touched by these enemies, you'll lose a life. To compound that, the collision detection when stabbing enemies isn't the best either, especially when ducking. Numerous times I thought I should have killed an enemy, but it didn't happen, and I got myself killed. The green Kung Fu kick enemies are extremely difficult to avoid. Parachutists fire bullets too often and too quickly. Enemies spawn too quickly and too frequently, and the whole difficulty of the game is stupidly unfair. But boy, did me and my brother love this one back when we were kids. I think what added to the difficulty was that in the arcades, the enemies crouching was a tell for when they are going to fire. And even in the Nintendo version, there's a delay between crouch and fire, so you have time to react. In this Commodore 64 port, however, those two things happen in the same frame, so bullets are harder to dodge than in any of the other formats. Through all of this though, Green Beret is a pretty able fellow, capable of jumping and lying down whilst repeatedly stabbing. Pretty useful if you are to avoid the waist high bullet shot at you. You can also climb up and down ladders or other artifacts. Occasionally, an enemy commandant appears in the battle zone, and if he's killed, you'll be awarded with either a machine gun, a flamethrower, or rocket launcher. Good for three shots, or three grenades all activated with that ever-nostalgic tap of the spacebar with your foot. All the scenes have their own distinctive landscape. For example, the first starts with a series of iron girder bridges connected to the ground by a number of ladders. You climb these and trundle along the catwalk, missing most of the enemy soldiers who stampede below. After the girder bridge comes a group of missile launcher lorries, which have ladders at the back of them and can also be climbed over. Once negotiated, then it's a quick sprint past a collection of static missile launchers to the end of the landscape. At first, you may think it's Commando or Rambo looking from a different viewpoint. The objective is almost the same as in Rambo, rescue the captives and advance through hostile ground. As you are super tough, making your way behind the line single-handed is possible, though tricky. In fact, incredibly difficult to say the least. Thank God for trainers, otherwise I'd never get these videos on the channel. The graphics in the background are quite impressive, with some neat scenery scrolling by as you go over bridges or past rocket launchers. Dodging bullets and bombs and dealing out death becomes quite addictive, once you get the hang of stabbing every bad guy that comes your way. This is a very frenetic game and it's quite impressive just how fast and smooth the game runs for the time, as this is 1986, 
which is when you first started to see the big, scrolling, arcade action games appearing, really. The game also really requires you to be aware of your surroundings at all times, as death can come from any direction. I think the graphics are quite good. They're somewhat blocky, but colourful, and everything moves smoothly, with great sound effects too. Whenever I see this game in the arcades, I always have to give it a go. It will always hold very much nostalgia for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this game too. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button, and let me know what you thought of Green Beret in the comments. Check out the playlist for other Commodore 64 classics, including the mentioned games Commando and Rambo 2, but there's a whole library of other great titles up there too. If you're enjoying the nostalgia, then maybe consider subscribing to the channel, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye for now.